हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो सेशन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द स्पिन स्पिन कपलिंग और स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ द सिग्नल सो व्हाट इज स्पिन स्पिन कपलिंग सो द नंबर ऑफ सिग्नल इन ए प्रोटॉन एंड एमआर स्पेक्ट्रम इज इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ काइंड ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स प्रेजेंट इन द मॉलिक्यूल्स फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू सी द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ फॉर इथाइल एसिटेट इट हैज थ्री पीक्स वेयर ओनली वन इज सिंगलेट एंड अदर Two are multiplied. Means this is giving four peak. That's why we said quartet. This is giving three peak. We say triplet. And this is called the splitting of NMR signal or the spin-spin coupling. Like instead of singlet, you are getting a multiplet. Means quartet, triplet, or doublet. There will be splitting of the signal. But why spin-spin coupling is observed? This is due to interaction with the nearby protons. Let's see the example of diamino pyrimidine. Which has two protons H A and H B beside the amino proton, which we are not discussing here. We will just discuss about H A and H B protons. So H A and H B protons are giving singlet in the N M R spectrum because they are far away from each other and they are not interacting with each other. So that's why they are giving only singlet. But if we see the spectrum of cytosine. Which has H A and H B two protons close enough to experience the small magnetic field of each other. Like H A will feel the magnetic field of H B and H B will feel the magnetic field of H A. So H A will interact with H B and it will split the signal of H B into doublet and H B will split the signal of H A into doublet. So in cytosine we are getting two signal of doublet and Doublet. Now, what is the principle of spin-spin coupling? So, let's take the example of two proton H A and H B. So, in first case, if there is no interaction between H A and H B, then each proton will interact with the applied field only. So, there will be only two singlet. But if H A and H B interact with each other, so first case where the field of h b is aligned with the applied field in case h a will experience more field because the field of h b will be added to the applied magnetic field so the h a will experience more magnetic field and the gap between two energy states of h a will slightly increase so that will slightly move the peak of h a to down field in another case the h b can be in opposite direction of the applied field in this case the field experienced by the h a will be the applied field minus the magnetic field of h b in this case the chemical shift for h a will be slightly decreasing so finally h a will be appear or will be visible as a doublet because there is a Slight magnetic field generated by H B, so there will be very small difference between the these two peaks of doublet. So the energy required for resonance depends on the field experienced by the proton. So these two situation gives rise to slightly different peaks, like a doublet. And whatever happens to H A, that will be happen to H B also. So as well, so the spectrum has two doublets, one for each protons will be observed. so each proton will couple with other and the field of proton is very small indeed in comparison with the field of the magnet that's why the separation between these line of a doublet is very very small so now the spin spin splitting is observed only between chemically non equivalent proton equivalent proton do not couple with one uh, with each other and splitting will not be observed so we can calculate the number of peaks in a multiplet by n plus 1 rule where n is the number of proton responsible for splitting or number of chemically equivalent protons so let's take the example of this chloroethane so the three methyl group are equivalent but they are non equivalent to the ch2 proton so these ch2 proton will split the peak of ch3 proton and according to n plus 1 rule this ch3 will be splitted into the triplet due to the ch2 protons and the peaks of ch2 proton will be splitted into the quartet due to the ch3 protons if we apply the n plus 1 rule so on the other 
and the protons of both the methyl groups all the six proton in ethane that is ch3 ch3 are equivalent and they do not split the signals and all the six proton appear as a single peak so first we have to find the chemical equivalent and chemically non equivalent proton only chemically non equivalent proton split the peaks to each other so in general the spin spin coupling is observable up to three bond unless some special cases such as small ring coupling in aromatic etc so we will mainly discuss the coupling up to three bond only so now if we come back on the spectra of ethyl acetate we see this is quartet this is triplet but the intensity of the peak also different in case of quartet the intensity is lower than the triplet so why this intensity is different for each multiplet so let's see this probability method so here ch and this ch are coupling with each other so if we see this ch will see to this proton in two way like this will oppose the applied magnetic field or this will be aligned with the applied magnetic field so there will be only two possibilities like it will opposing the applied field it will aligning the applied field so in in this case we will get only one one ratio for the uh, peaks in a double eight if there's a two protons now these two protons will split this red protons into triplet so there will be three peaks how we will get the intensity for this if we see these two protons can be either in the opposite direction or on the same direction but one proton can be in same direction and one proton can be in opposite direction now it will be same which was the in opposite that will be now in same direction which was the in same direction that will be now in opposite direction so for this case there is a two, two probability so total there is will be ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 for a triplet in case of three proton there will be quadrate so if we see this three proton either can be in the same direction or in the opposite direction now this will be the three cases for these two two probabilities so now we will get a 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio for a quadrate so every time we cannot do this probability method so we have to use this pascal triangle to get the intensity of multiplet if there is a doublet the intensity for peaks will be 1 1 if there is a triplet the intensity will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 if there is a quartet that will be 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 if there is a quintet that will be 1 is to 5 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1 and so on and in general if it's more than 7 we generally say is the multiplet so thank you very much and have a nice day